What's up guys, Andrew here with the Zydax team. Today we are doing some testing on the 4070 Ti. This is the newest GPU from Nvidia. This is their, I would say, most budget option they currently have available. And so we kind of wanted to put it through its paces. We are gonna be having this computer available for purchase. This is gonna be one of our new ready to roll. So make sure that you get in touch with a sales agent like me on the website and we can help you get set up. We're gonna go over a suite of games that we tested. And again, we really went through a bunch of different scenarios because we wanted to see what this GPU was capable of. And so the first game we're gonna be testing today is Spider-Man. So from the benchmarks you can see right now, at basically nothing turned on, no DLSS, no ray tracing. We were getting about 70 to 80 FPS, which is actually still pretty amazing when you consider this is at the highest settings possible. We decided to turn on ray tracing and uh, basically DLSS 2.0 initially, which was netting us about 100 to 10, 128 frames per second. Now, this is pretty great when you consider the fact that ray tracing is very demanding, but Spider-Man is one of those titles that takes advantage of it and really shows off what it's capable of. So I think that it's actually a good barrier of entry to kind of give you an idea of what this GPU can do. Now, DLSS 3.0 is the newest version of DLSS from NVIDIA, and we wanted to see what that was capable of as well. So when we enabled that, we were actually getting about 20 to 30 more FPS with ray tracing on. So if you want a GPU that's capable of playing these new AAA titles with basically all the bells and whistles and higher settings turned on, this is definitely the GPU that's gonna be able to do it. Now, stepping down to 1440p and repeating all of these tests, what we were able to find is that we were getting anywhere from 30 to 50 more frames per second, which again is fantastic because now we're up in that 150 to 160 range. And then when we stepped it down to 1080p, we were getting nearly 80 frames more in these tests. So it doesn't matter what resolution you wanna play at, whether you wanna push 4K or you wanna push 1440p or 1080p, with all these settings turned on, um, ray tracing turned on, and DLSS, you're gonna have a fantastic experience. And DLSS 3.0 is gonna give you even more out of the GPU that you want. All right, guys, so the next game in our suite is High on Life. This is a brand new title, which I haven't got to mess around with uh, yet, but honestly, it looks fantastic. It's kind of a fun um, game and kind of a new take on a uh, shooter. But at 4K, we were getting a solid 60 to 80 FPS. So once again, we are getting really high frame rates at a very high resolution, and we are doing these tests at the highest possible settings. Now, stepping it down to 1440p, we were able to increase our frames per second by nearly 50. So now you're getting over 100 FPS consistently, which again is absolutely fantastic. DLSS and ray tracing isn't yet um, basically in the game, but doesn't matter because I think the game looks absolutely fantastic as well. Um, so um, taking it from these benchmarks, you can see that overall performance was steady, which also is something that's important to see because you want to make sure that your frames per second stays as consistent as possible. The last setting we did, of course, is at 1080p, which again, we are increasing our frame rate. Now we're up to the 150-ish range, the 200 range, depending on what's going on at any given time. And so the 4070 Ti is fully capable of taking advantage of new AAA titles, you know, these new engines that are starting to come out. It's fantastic that you're able to get this level of gaming experience, whether you're doing that at a lower resolution or a higher resolution. And once again, we are testing all of this at the highest possible settings. So if you want to fine tune this at home, you're going to get a better out of box experience than potentially even this, which is great to see. All right, guys, so the next game we tested was Callisto Protocol. This is a new title that's only been out a very, very short amount of time. And this is one that is definitely a good barometer of uh, a higher stress test when it comes to the 4070 Ti. Starting out at 4K with both ray tracing turned on and DLSS turned on, we see about 63 to 64 frames per second in the in-house benchmark that this game provides. Now that is fantastic because in a game like this, obviously, you're not gonna be necessarily as concerned with super high frame rates because it's not like you're shooting against other people, but you are gonna be able to get a very high graphical experience out of it and maintain that 60 you know, frames per second barrier that really is going to give you the best experience possible. Now, when we messed on turning off or turning on um, basically FSR, which is um, AMD's equivalent to DLSS, we got relatively the same amount of frames. Uh, and this is due, I think, mainly to the game just being so new that it's not able to fully leverage the technology, but the hardware with the 4070 Ti is definitely there. The next one we did was at 1440p, which told a similar story. We were able to get marked improvement as far as the actual frames per second, um, about 10 across the board when we were using, again, ray tracing and turning on and off FSR. So again, I think this is just a 
the uh, introduction of the game being so new and nothing against the game or the hardware, just something that obviously will get better over time. So I think you're still gonna have a great experience either way. Now, stepping it down to 1080p, it kind of tells the same story. Once again, whether you're turning on ray tracing or FSR, if ray tracing is enabled, um, it absolutely makes the game look gorgeous, but you are going to see your frames, you know, a little bit lower, which again, in this type of title, isn't gonna be the end all be all. It's going to be a great experience no matter what. Now, what is fantastic is if you don't wanna turn on ray tracing, then you can get significantly higher frames. We were getting across the board, whether it was 4K, 1440p, or 1080p, anywhere from 100 to 150 frames per second, and FSR only made that better. So this is the type of situation where if you want a higher graphical experience, you can get it with very few compromises. But if you are the kind of person where frames per second matters, even in a title like this, you can turn off ray tracing and you are going to get much higher frames per second. And the 47Ti is still capable of giving you the experience that you would want. Okay guys, and the last game we tested today was Elden Ring. Now, Elden Ring testing is a little bit different. This is a game I personally love and have probably too many hours according to my wife in, but it's something that I really wanted to show. The 47 Ti is capable of pushing this at 60 frames, max settings, 4K, no problem. Now, we didn't do any 1080p or 1440p testing with this because it doesn't currently support things like DLSS or FSR. And on top of that, it's locked at 60 frames a second. So even though the 47 Ti is absolutely capable of pushing this game at higher frames per second, there's just not um, any way to show that because the game currently doesn't support it. But if you want, like again, the game being so graphically beautiful and absolutely excellent experience, you're going to get it because this can basically max out the current uh, you know, FPS limit that the game is able to show. And from the gameplay that you're looking at right now, you can see just exactly how good that's gonna look on a 4070 Ti. So once again, across all of the suites of tests we've done, we have basically seen that the 4070 Ti is capable of delivering high frames per second at a high graphical experience, whether ray tracing is turned on or off, and with DLSS 3.0 being out, that experience is only going to get better. So, if you want a new computer, you can pick up one of these ready to rolls like I have right behind me. If you want to customize something yourself, make sure to get in touch with one of the sales rep like myself by entering the chat online on Zydax.com. We'd be happy to help you customize a new rig around whatever use case you're going to be having. And again, with this new GPU, there's simply now tons of options when it comes to high-end performance, and we'd be happy to help you find the right fit for you. I'm Andrew with the Zydex Sales Team. Make sure to follow us on our social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We appreciate all of your support, and we'll see you in the next video.